Easy Muck Coins provide safe Madden 22 coins and they have the cheapest prices among all the sites. It's the trusted website. Please use my code GS to enjoy 5% off and make sure you follow their official Twitter at Easy Mutt one for coin giveaways and more. What up, what up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ages, your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 22 video and today we have ourselves the A to Z series with the Dolphins, and I must be honest, their offensive line is rather doo-doo, but I'm really looking forward to using 97 speed Waddle and 95 speed, the uh, newest addition in Fuller, who had a fantastic year last year. I had him in fantasy, and he had a really, 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 really good year. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the Dolphins have... Uh, some just some really good, tremendous speed weapons on offense, and it just so happens that we get our first mirror match of the year. We actually go on ahead and match up against the Dolphins. What do you know? So, uh, it's the Fins versus the Fins. We are in the color rush orange, and of course, I really, really, really want to try and get Waddle involved. Uh, just so much speed, and uh, you Dolphin fans got a tremendous athlete for years to come. I know you guys should be really, really, really excited about adding him to your team. So, uh, offensively, I do know that the Dolphins play, but I run Dolphins on defense, ultimate team. So, I know everything about their playbook defensively. Very familiar with their uh, defensive playbook, their style. Offensively, you know, they're usually one of the more popular playbooks in the game. And I must say, I... Definitely like their playbook. Their playbook's pretty good. I like it. Big third down right here. We need this conversion to avoid punting the ball. And we got X on the slant. We got space. And unfortunately, the pass is overthrown. So we are forced to punt the ball. You guys know fourth down swagger tree, man. We go ahead and we utilize our special teams on fourth down. And beautiful punt as we go ahead and pin them in um, within the 10-yard line. So, hits me with the RPO bubble. First play right here. He's going to roll out. And the same way I overthrew a wide-open slant, he does the exact same as uh, we get lucky on that throw. Third and six. He's going to take off right here. And we send our zone. And he passes beyond the line of scrimmage, which is an illegal tactic as we go on ahead and accept the penalty. And he goes on ahead and punts the ball from his own end zone. And due to a beautiful return, we are actually starting in great position from uh, his 38. So right here we get a play action. And I'm just going to precision it up because you know what to do with that big fat bet. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Let me waddle over the top into the end zone one time for the one time. He is, oh, he's fast. He, he's real fast. What does it say from... um? Uh, what's that movie, man? The Longest Yard. He he make people, he make fast people look, look not so fast. And speaking of making fast people look not so fast, his waddle goes on ahead and gets him a kick return touchdown. If you take a look back, and I don't know why I always say this because nobody's going to rewind it, but I was on the kicker the entire time. During kickoffs, I'm never on the kicker. I always hit B right away to give myself a position player. I was actually looking for a YouTube video to put on so I could listen to something while I was playing the game. Give me a little bit of listening material. Right here, I think that was right, a beautiful pocket presence. Unfortunately, I uh, didn't really get the reroute that I wanted. He kind of just stopped after I tried to reroute him up. Third and six, this is a big play. And we go to the right side and we end up getting the first down. And of course, mama, they go that man again. That man Waddle puts in a lot of work. So, Speaking of him putting in a lot of work, we look for him right here. I notice he's playing man to man. And we got deep up top again. And shapinkin. Mama there goes that man again. Not one. But two touchdowns for the man Waddle. He's just too fast. Man, 97 speed. And he is just so electric as we go on ahead and score our second touchdown. With the rookie as uh, Tugalovia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. If anybody could put the syllables in the chat, I would greatly appreciate that. Because I damn sure don't know how to say his name. But uh, he's, he's stone crispy one. So right here, I decided to try and mix it up. Send some heat. He does get ball at the half. So I got to, you know, be careful. I don't want him to double dip. I don't want him to score before half. Get the ball at half. Score again. And, you know, I could potentially get the ball next time and be losing. Because of a double dip. So, um... We have all three timeouts, so we're going to try and stop the clock if we have to as he's getting in a rhythm. Throws a beautiful slant right there. And um, 
you know, to try and get the ball back with our timeout. So he's going to roll out right here, and he throws the pass. Thankfully, he did not uh, possession catch that. He rat caught, and he went straight out of bounds. So after this tackle, I believe I used my first uh, timeout, which I do, to try and give me a little bit of time uh, because, you know, he's most likely going to, you know, score no matter what here at the incomplete pass. That's exactly what happens. He goes on ahead and kicks a field goal. So 50 seconds remaining just to see if I can muster something up, maybe get in field goal range. You never know. But holding him to three right there was huge because, you know, again, he does get ball at the half. So obviously a touchdown, he takes the lead. But if we hold him to three again, you know, we're still in the lead. So uh, right here, we're looking, nothing open. We're going to throw it out of bounds. Unfortunately, it's uh, intentional grounding. So now we got a really, really, really long way to go. And speaking of long way to go, he done, he pumped up, and there he goes again. And then Waddle was just an absolute menace. Look at the pocket presence. Stepped up to avoid the sack. We roll out, and we end up hitting the flat route on the side right there for the first down. That was beautiful pocket presence. Absolutely beautiful. So right here, standing in the pocket. Again, we're going to take off for a little bit of rushing yards right there. We're going to go on ahead, and uh, I believe he calls a timeout. So, okay. So we're going to go on ahead and get an extra play. We call a screen pass for a touchdown and just like that we go up 21 to 10 terrible timeout in my opinion by him terrible i was just going to go on ahead i only had one timeout remaining so i was just going to let it drizzle down call a timeout and take my three but he wanted the ball back and he called the timeout which gave me an extra play with the timeout and that allowed me to go ahead and score a touchdown so that timeout him wanting to get the ball back as we get a dope Test the user is so disrespectful. And uh, that timeout was just, uh, it allowed me to get a free play. And uh, we took advantage of that by getting a touchdown. So, again, he does get ball at the half. So, uh, not out of this game just yet. Getting the ball at half is just so important. He can score here, go for two, make it a one-point game. Even a field goal just makes it a one-possession game. Not a one-point game, makes it a one-possession game, excuse me, if he scores and goes for two. Big sack right there. I'm not sure what happened. He just kind of looped around, glitched. I'm not sure what happened, but we end up getting ourselves a sack. He's going to go on ahead and roll out, and we have yet to really see anything from our dominant corners that we have on the field. We have two tremendous corners in Jones and Howard, and um, we have yet to really see any of those guys uh, make a play. But right here, beautiful out route. I mean, beautiful. I was not expecting that. That right there was a very good call. So uh, first down, plenty of time. Decides to take off, throws right before he passes the line of scrimmage. Incomplete pass. Second and 10 right here. He's going to roll out to the right once again. I'm there covering the slant. There's nothing really open. He decides to throw it all anyways. And another no so for you. Give it to me, baby. Two user picks for us. And right here, we're going to roll. I had B open, and I noticed it too late. He's calling man, and I'm like, ah, I had B. Let me see if he gives me the same look again because uh, it'll be open. And this time, we end up throwing it in stride perfectly and waddle with his third, third receiving touchdown of the game. That young man had himself one hail of the game. He actually had four touchdowns if you include the waddle on the other team. So first and ten right here. We're calling one four six, and the one four six heat pretty good. I, we called one four six two Maddens ago, but you know we're you know decided to try it here in this game, and it was actually doing pretty good, creating some good pressure. Um, but you definitely need some pretty good corners in order to be successful. Uh, you know, with that blitz, since you're sending so many people. He no huddled. We switched to a cover three, and he was not ready for it as, you know, uh, speaking of the corners making a play, there they go right there, getting an interception. Our opponent's going to go on ahead and call it quits. Hopefully, you Dolphin fans were excited for this gameplay. My man Waddle went off. Appreciate the love and support. As always, our very next gameplay in the A through Z series will be with the Eagles. Hopefully, my Eagle fans are looking forward to that one. It's your boy, GS. We're going to go ahead and sign you up. Appreciate the love and support. As always, until next time, peace.